Now let's move to one of our favorite stocks and certainly one of those which has been firmly entrenched in the hot stocks portfolio since forever and a day, and that is Nuspass. Okay, so this on our local market is truly unique company. There isn't anything else like it. It's one way bus ticket to getting involved in the media industry that we're talking about here today. It stands head and shoulders above all of its competitors of a South African origin in this particular sector. Remember, its core business, Tencent, which is a big global player, but located in the Chinese market in the internets as well. And then, of course, multi-choice, which is the DSTV platform, which you're currently busy watching now. So, huge player locally. Market capitalization, 785 billion rand. So, it's one of the largest South African companies. Has its roots as a printing and media company. Still has a little bit of those kind of assets. But is now really and truly an investment company with emerging market e-commerce and internet stakes. That's the best way to understand it. Price to earnings ratio, sky high, above 100. 108.7. Dividend yield a piffling 0.23%. But everybody just about owns it in this market, and in my opinion, mm -hmm. a huge mistake if you don't. Yes, definitely. i got to agree with that. I mean, the guys will always point to the PE ratio and say, oh, it's so expensive. Mm. How can we possibly buy this? But I mean, there's a, there's a very strong argument to be made that you have to value it like an investment holding company, not a normal stock. Yeah. So, you know, PE ratio is not that relevant. You should be looking at net yeah. asset value instead. And the net asset value is, is combined from the 10 cent, mm. which, as we always note, is listed in Hong Kong. Yeah. You can see how uh, it ought to be valued. Yeah, I've been to China. There's nothing else <laughs> going on in China. The weather's bad. There are yeah. no children. You can only play with yourself. But I, I did the calculation yesterday because quite often you'll actually see that 10 cent market cap if you convert it into rand is actually larger than yeah, plus market cap, yeah. which means you get all the the rump what they call for, for free, free yeah. yesterday the rump cost I think was about seven billion but that obviously yeah. fluctuates but yeah. still for me with their mail dot uh, which is you know, big in Russia which is big in Russia it owns the three biggest uh, I think internet sites in Russia as well they've obviously just done the, the um, you know the, the Kalahari and uh, take a lot uh, sticking, things, that sticking, sticking that together big business in India Flipkart Eastern so, Europe uh, they own all of those Turkey, Brazil. And they're still even printing newspapers. <laughs> like yeah. I think, you know, all around very diversified media player across, uh, you know, you're talking about BRICS countries. Yeah. Uh, you, can't, you can't not own okay. this one. So we're running out of time, but clearly we like this one. It's Definitely. above 1,800 rands a share. It has made one brief foray to 2,000. Mm. Happy to buy it, happy to call it hot, yeah, happy most, to most, own most it. If you don't own yeah. them already, buy some, etc. Definitely, yeah. And, and most, and most uh, sell side analysts have still got targets of you know, 2,000, uh, you know, 2,100, 2,200 yeah. per share by the end of the year. So. Excellent, good. So we're hot on that one.